All right, y'all. Well, I have a haul for you. Let me just take everything out of the box so that you can see them. Now, I bought two perfumes from by Latafa. So I ordered from fragrancenet.com. This is the first one, Latafa Pride from the Latafa Pride collection. This is their more upscale collection. I got it on Fragrancenet for about 33 bucks, I think, with a coupon. And then we have Awan. The reason why I didn't pronounce this is because I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's Ish Al Shuhuch. I'm sorry if I butchered it, but that is the best that I can do. And then we have a wand by Latafa as well. And I just went on fragrancenet.com, just, you know, stalking their website as usual. And I noticed that they dropped so many different Latafa fragrances. And I just had to hop on and get them. And then I have... Floris Cheapless. This is probably the first one that I'm going to open because it's the smallest one. And then I have this baby right here. Now, I wasn't sure if it would come in the original box, but oh my goodness, this is so stunning. This is by Alexandre J, the Art Deco Collector. Eau de Parfum, the Majestic Amber. And the box is just so amazing. I might have to open this up first. Let me see. Just because I'm so, 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 so excited. And I don't really want to break the seal like that, but I might have to because my nails certainly will not. is beautiful i can see this being stunning in the red oh this is the um the brand right here alexandre j he or they make really affordable niche fragrances as you can see um let me just adjust this hair out of the way <laughs> but this is what the packaging is looking like um how do you oh okay oh and then you just take this out oh my gosh I just don't want to destroy this stunning presentation but that has their emblem or something on here so this is a very smooth material I don't know if you can tell we haven't even seen the fragrance yet oh my gosh Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Wow, packaging. Oh my gosh, the packaging, the packaging, presentation, this bottle. It literally looks like it should be in a museum. Wow. I hope the perfume is as beautiful as this presentation now. All right, I think I'm gonna just spray it on 
the little card just because I I should have bought my wrestling strips but they're full of other fragrances and I have to get some new ones so we'll make do with this but this is what the bottle is looking like okay fragrance net definitely delivered let's go ahead and spray it let me put this beautiful cap back on here this is so majestic I think I'll just spray it I don't know I'm scared to just spray it just anywhere so let me get up and just get a testing strip I have more. I was just being lazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright. So I have some strips from Bath and Body Works. So usually when I go to stores like Ulta, Bath and Body Works, Sephora, Victoria's Secrets, wherever, I just grab a handful and yeah. So, whew, okay, I haven't, I'm so nervous. Okay. Wow, this is a lot. This is a lot more wearable than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be really heavy and but wow this is definitely a lot more wearable and approachable you know how some niche fragrances they're just not approachable fragrances they're not fragrances that you can just wear whenever or wherever this is beautiful this is so smooth Oh my gosh. I have to spray this on skin, but I don't want to just yet. Actually, I have to. Let me do it. I'm not wearing anything. It's first thing in the morning and all my fragrances have dissipated because I didn't wear my um my fragrances that last <laughs> overnight. So, I sprayed it on my arm. Let's see. This is milky and it smells like, it's milky, it's creamy. I'm not sure of the notes. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get my iPad. I should have been more prepared to film this video. So... I'm gonna get my iPad so I can look up the notes. Okay, I'm back. My iPad was in the living room. That's why it took me a minute. So let's look up. Thank you for just hanging out with me if you're still here. If you haven't clicked off this video because I'm just being an unprepared biatch all right so oh my gosh this is so so beautiful and there aren't many reviews for this fragrance just yet even though it was released in 2020 i guess it's just not as popular so this is an amber floral fragrance for women it was launched in 2020 created by anne sophie behagel and emily bourgeois Top notes are peach and grapefruit. Middle notes are savanna and rose. Base notes are 
and broxton coffee vanilla and patchouli let me tell you right now the patchouli is very here are the notes okay so you have peach grapefruit etc savannah i'm not too familiar with so let's take a look so it's a greens herbs and fougere okay all right let's go back so these notes are so perfectly well blended oh my gosh it's not like bitter peach at all i think that just because it has peach in it is being compared to that but bitter peach is much more um uh, intense bitter peach is intense and it's heavy and dense this is a lighter creamier wearable um peach fragrance yeah there's not that many reviews there's one two three reviews that's crazy oh whatever I guess I'll be the fourth one. Um, so, yeah, that was amazing. I'm not going to look up the notes for all of them just because, I mean, this video is not for that. This is just an unboxing and I got stuck here because how beautiful this fragrance is. So, um, I am going to open up Floris Cheap Press. And I'll look the notes up for that one, but the other ones I will not. Not because I don't want to, but because um, some of these fragrances, the Latafa ones, don't show up on Fragrantica for whatever reason. I guess because they're not that popular or people just don't know about them. So, like, this one I was looking for on Fragrantica and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the notes as well as a wand, too. If you guys find it, let me know. Put it in the comment. Put a link or something for me. Now, the notes for Chipress by Flores. This bottle is definitely smaller than I thought it would have been. Um, so, this is the main accords let's scroll down so this is giving fresh musky um citrus vibes so let's see if that's what we're going to get uh, let me put this away this is so beautiful unless you just want it you want to keep seeing it in the background i don't know i'll leave it right there but it smells so pretty it doesn't like i said like it just smells really pretty like very i'm talking about majestic amber it's very creamy it's sweet but not tooth um toothache sweet you guys know what i'm talking about with toothache tooth toothache sweet and it's just it's so well blended oh my gosh it's beautiful it is absolutely beautiful and right up my alley no regrets this was i believe i think this was 69 or 70 it was right under 70 dollars for this beautiful um fragrance so that means that 